Hi, second grade mathematicians. So we are going to do some morning math pages. We're going to do this page and this page. Okay, this page is pretty easy, quick. Um, so then we'll just do this full page. All right. And the reason we're doing some morning math pages um, is because we have covered a huge chunk of what we're supposed to cover in second grade. We have gone over almost everything. It's amazing. And we still have a little bit to go, um, which is good because we have a little bit of time left in class, right? But one thing I think that's different about distance learning versus being in a classroom for the whole day, every day for a whole year is just practice time. And so the reason I'm having you do this is just to get a little bit more practice time because mathematicians learn specific skills and then they practice those skills. Okay, it's just like most things, like if you want to be a good baker, you learn about baking and then you practice baking things and you learn by doing that. So that's what we're doing here. Um, you need to do this page and do this page on your own and then come back to the video and check your work with me, okay? So you can pause the video now and then do those two pages and then start it back up, okay? All right, so this first one, welcome back. Oh, the very first thing I want you to do is write down, um, oh my gosh, it's the fifth month. Ah, how is it May already? May 4th, 2021. I want you to write the short date up there, okay? It says, how many squares are there in all? So they are trying to trick you. It's easy to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, but then you see their hint and they're like, and oh, you're like, oh, right, there are going to be more squares. So there are nine that we have spotted that are little. Then they give us an example of this one, which I'm going to make a tally mark for that one. Okay. So that's one more. And then I'm going to make another one here oh my gosh tally mark for that one let's do another one here tally mark for that one let's do hmm, what color haven't i used yet let's do gray i'm gonna make this one another one, another tally mark, and then there's a great big giant big one. Did you spot that one right away? The big one using all nine squares. That one is another one. So I had nine plus five more. And that is 14 squares that I found. All right, and then the shapes that were used to make this bigger shape, these are triangles, right? This is too easy for you. These are rectangles. All right, 27 minus 16, you could put it like this and you have to make sure you look at the order of operations here. It's a subtraction problem, right? So seven minus six, those are the ones. We have one left over. These are the tens, two minus one, one. So it's 11. Let me zoom in a little bit, Ooh, wrong way. Okay, and this one I'm gonna stack too. You could solve this with um, presents and parcels if you wanted to with picture code, or you could do it on number line, or you could stack it and take the zero away from the zero is zero. And the six away from the seven is one, and the one away from the two is one, and then you know that it's 110, all right? And I'm gonna add the one in the seven and the two with nothing, and I have 28. And I'm gonna take the seven away from the eight and nothing away from the two, and I end up with 21. And then we're gonna circle the even numbers. Remember even numbers, they have partners. So two plus two is four. Seven is odd, one is odd, no partners for them. Five plus five is 10. So that is an even number. And when you get higher and higher with the numbers, there's a trick. You can just look at the first number, the one in the ones column, and you can say, well, is three even? 
No. So 43 is not even. And you can look at the two. Is the two even? Yes. So 72 is also even. Is the six even? Yes. So 16 is also even. And when there's a zero right there, you have to look at the 10. So is 10 even? Yes, so 110 is even. 55 plus 55 equals 110. Eight plus eight is 16, okay? So you can tell that they're even, that's the trick. All right, if 20 minus 10 equals 10, then 10 plus 10 equals 20. Emily needs 90 cents to buy a glue stick. She has 50 cents. How much more money does Emily need? So I was doing this with someone and they said that they knew that five plus four equaled nine. Five plus four equals nine. So then they knew that 50 plus 40 equaled 90. So if she has 50, she needs 40 cents. Okay, here we go. 13 plus five more is 18. For this one, they're stacked already. Two plus six ones is eight ones, and five plus two tens is seven tens. Two plus six ones is eight ones. Five plus two is seven tens. 100 plus 100 more is 200. All right, count by twos. 100, 102, 104, 106, 108, 110, 112. Write the number 100, 79, 250. Remember you're correcting. So if you had something wrong, correct it and be sure you put a star next to all these that you're getting correct, okay? And you can always pause me if I go too fast or go back. A spider has eight legs. If a spider wore shoes, how many pairs would it need? Okay, so it needs one, for each one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It needs one shoe for every leg, right? And so it wants to know how many pairs of shoes. And a pair is two together. So a pair, a pair, a pair, a pair. Four pairs of shoes. Okay, did we write the date up at the top on this one? I don't think we did. So make sure you put the short date up here as well, okay? May 4th, 2021. Good job, mathematicians. Thanks for your hard work. I'm proud of you. Whoops, let's see here. There we go. 